hello traders so welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to trade over one minute time frame we are going to analyze one minute candlestick chart with support and resistance level and will place our trade with confirmation in the form of rejection in this video we are going to target at least four trades and will use candlestick psychology to understand where the market will go in the future so without wasting any time let's get started right now as you can see the trend is uptrend but as we are trading over a smaller time frame the trend is not that important it is important but they doesn't uh, like they doesn't hold that much value and the most important thing which we required on a smaller time frame is the story and candlestick pattern and support and resistance level so right now as you can see market is at the support level and you see a dozy pattern formation here now in such case what you can expect you can expect a reversal for that we need proper rejections right now previous candle was very strong this is a dozy but we cannot say that market can reverse right now if this candle closes above then we can say that market should go in the upward direction and we can place our trade accordingly right now you can see this candle is going to finish in the next six seconds so let's wait because it is going to close above the level and what we will do here we will wait for the market to retrace back and if market retraces back with the rejection as our confirmation we are going to place our trade in the upward direction which is to place a higher option so let's wait market rejected okay it is reversing now what we need is a clear rejection by the market will wait for the right time otherwise will not place our trade right now market doesn't give any proper signals we have to wait okay this level this support zone which started from here we can say is important okay market gives rejection but i was no problem we'll find more opportunities so as you can see market is going in the upward direction it rejected from the support level very support level which we were using no worry as you can see right now the story is similar yet it is going in the upward direction we'll wait for the rejection again because i cannot see any sign of weakness right now so let's wait we are going to get an opportunity soon market is getting rejections from the sellers you can see these wicks they show the rejection and this market is also you can see current market is also getting rejections but no worries we are going to find one trading opportunity in the upward direction because right now the the things are in the favor of buyers let's wait i need more retracement in the downward direction and like rejection from this level can work great for us so let's wait let's see how this candle finishes it is going in the downward direction it's a good thing we want market to go in the downward direction and yes we can actually yes right now market is near to our level and we just need a confirmation and this was the confirmation i took the trade this was the confirmation we got the rejection and i placed my trade as i told you i was waiting for the market to hit this level it came close to this level and rejected back instantly so that's why we place our trade now let's wait for the result as uh, okay everything is in our favor so let's wait it is going to finish in the next 25 seconds and after that we are going to take three or four more trades in this video sorry okay market is going down and this is going to be a loss no worries part of the game will the story is similar yet and market can reverse you can see market like closes at the support level and what we need is a clear confirmation by the buyers and we can place our trade i am waiting for a clear rejection right now as market is at the support level okay it is going strongly in the downward direction 
no rejection still no rejection okay it is taking longer than usual market is stable now let's wait okay it is again going in the downward direction no worries mark the the support level is still holding the market okay it closes above okay i need instant rejection and a good volume candle here like let's wait the buyers are rejecting but the strength the strength is still missing okay no confirmation yet okay no still no sign i think we have to wait but we are going to get one opportunity soon market is closing above the level all the time i'm going to remove this level you can see this is a whole number level and we can use that level to place our trade and i'm quite confident about the trade so let's wait okay this is the confirmation i took this trade now let's wait for the result why i took this trade the market was near to the support level which is a whole number and we got a good confirmation so i place our trade now let's wait and you can see this is a twizzer formation also so and market is going strongly in the upward direction so let's wait for the result i'm going to fast forward this video to save some time okay so let's wait we have won this trade and you know why i took this trade it was simple market tried breaking the support level you can see market and it it get rejection from the whole number level which is working as a support market rejected twice from the same level i got confirmation and i placed my trade now as you can see market is again going down in the downward direction now let me draw a trend line because you can see let me change the color now in such case as you can see market is trying to break this resistance level but it is failing quite a bit so what we will do we will wait for the market to break because right now it is in a range and we should avoid trading in a range we'll wait for the market to break this level and after that we can place our trade because we we need to go with some stories and right now the price action is quite like it, it compresses here so we have to wait as you can see market still closes below this resistance level and it's a descending triangle pattern also so we can expect a breakout soon because it is going to and i or it may take some time but the chances are really high and one more thing as you can see market is moving in that range if you understand how to trade in the range you can trade otherwise if you are a beginner i will suggest you not to take any trade right now as you can see market is breaking the level okay so it's a good thing you can see the rejection was very strong it shows the like the decision making and uh, now we can say that it's a breakout can we place our trade as soon as this candle finishes well of course not we will wait for the market to go down a little bit and we a smaller retracement will also work this is a good breakout i will remove it right now because it's not required anymore as you can see market closes above now in such case what we can do we can wait for the market to go a little bit down and with rejection we can place our trade okay it is coming down and i'm ready to place my trade just need some confirmation it is again okay strongly going in the downward direction no worries no rejection yet okay okay great now market rejected back okay no nope, no worries as market is okay we need some we have to give some time for the to the market and we are going to get a good trading opportunity i guess let's wait where the candle is going to finish okay it is strongly going down now when this happens 
and you have a strong support level here you always wait for the market to give us some clear signal right now we don't have any clear signal because you can't go for a higher option or a lower option market is going to hit this resistance level okay it again rejected back now that is odd it's really odd it is again going with the full power in the upward direction okay so let's wait the, the story is not clear yet so we have to wait to the market to settle down a bit because the volume is quite high and i don't want to like involve in in this market right now i need a little bit smooth market this is not smooth this is quite volatile and we should avoid trading these kinds of market right now as you can see and i guess we have an opportunity yes i placed my trade now let me explain you why i took this trade it was an instant trade market was at the resistance level and we got the confirmation the market rejected very well and previous candle was strong market doesn't hit the support level so we can expect that market should go down should touch this level see uh, i explained this uh, this concept in various videos that market always moves from one level to the another market break something like it break a resistance level it is going to hit the next resistance level if it breaks support level it is going to hit the next support level there and that is how market moves so this is quite like this is the thing that you can like analyze by yourself right now uh, the analysis was going against us and uh, we lost this trade so no worries part of the game and as you can see still market is not above this level and we can use this level and i'm going to use this level let me show you okay this is the rejection we got the rejection again and i place my trade we got the rejection from the same level so now let's wait the story is clear candlestick pattern these three or four candlestick we can say that market should go in the downward direction we have got the resistance level market should hit the next support level and that's why i placed my previous trade but for unfortunate reasons market reverses back and we lost this trade but no worries as the story was intact i place another trade and it is going in our favor so that is how it that is how you should trade you have to trade with a story with a story sorry not with the strategy the story needs to match with your strategy then only you can play successful trade and you can see market now the next target for me as you can see right now it's consolidated here and it is not at the resistance level neither it is at the support level so in such case i will not place any trade i will only take trades when the market is at some level like a support level or a resistance level it means that or we can say that on a smaller time frame my strategy suggests me to take trades when market is at some level it could be support it could be resistance it doesn't matter but we need support and the resistance level then only we can place our trade because these levels are the one which gives us rejection which turns out to be the confirmation for our trading setup so as you can see market is again moving in that box uh, so we can do one thing we can change the chart actually we'll try to go try to find okay here also same story you can see market is ranging we'll try to go in this chart and same story here also okay we need ranging uh, we need sorry trendy market right now and here it is also ranging okay let's go back to our main chart we'll going to okay so market is trying to break the level and right now this is the okay market is actually at the resistance level it is trying to break which is a good thing because we want trendy market to place trades 
and inside you can see it is breaking okay it rejected back closes at the edge so in such case we will not place our trade because previous candlestick story suggests market should go up this strong resistance suggests market should go down in such case we will not place our trade we need clear indication that market will go in that direction so we'll wait for some time i think it is going to take like two or three minutes the story will going to be clear soon and so let's wait it is a strong candlestick market rejected from the base of the support level and when you are trading over smaller time frame every level is important every level is very important because these level decides where the market will go on a smaller time frame i'm not talking about bigger time frame on a bigger scale the supply and demand zone are the king actually right now market is like you can see market is like spending some time on this zone because it's a resistance zone previous candle was strong right now it is breaking the level which is a good thing because it will give us a clear trendy path so that we can follow the same let's try to find next level of resistance which is here and you can see it's a whole number also so we are going to use this level and you can see as i told you market moves from one level to the another so it if it broke this resistance level it is going to hit the next resistance level it is not going to stop in between market will reverse from resistance or from support level in most cases it's it's not universal that it always do the same thing but this these are some like things that i notice by myself okay so this is a good pattern if you look carefully here you will see that it's a reversal pattern actually so in such case what we can what we can do here we can expect a reversal but do we have any confirmation right now well no the candlestick suggests that you can see these two candlestick this is a good sign that market can reverse it's an one second so okay it is going up let's wait how the market will react okay it is going up strong candle it's a strong candlestick but closes just near to the previous high this candle formed this, this high and it closes just near to this level so it might be the case because this is a resistance zone so market is getting weaker and is like positioning itself to reverse We can expect a reversal actually here you can see market is getting weaker and this candle okay you can see rejections very near to the resistance level and it is getting a rejection it's a good thing because we can expect a reversal here market is weak what we need is a confirmation here okay well it is a confirmation but we need to place our trade somewhere around here the confirmation is there but i cannot place my trade here because it is very near to this support zone and no we'll wait for this candle to finish because it is rejected from the support zone okay nice you can see 
market is going to close below as we predicted because the, uh, the the confirmation was there but the market didn't have that much room and that's why i didn't place my trade but as you can see it is going up the previous candlestick pattern suggests market should go down and this is a support level market closes at the same so what i am expecting here is a reversal so we'll wait for the confirmation no confirmation yet we need good confirmation then only we can place the trade okay the rejections are there we'll wait for the for a clear breakout okay so it is this is the level so i'm waiting for a clear breakout if this candle closes below it's a good sign because we can now place our trade with the lower option okay this is a reversal confirmation actually from the support level we can expect a reversal no we will go with the lower option only we'll wait for the breakout here will not place in the higher option because the price action doesn't support the story here we'll wait for the breakout the breakout will give us a good trading setup in this case so let's wait market is in a range right now okay okay it's a uh, those will wait for the breakout i'm expecting a breakout here and i i'm sure that market is going to give us some good trading setup let's wait okay it again got rejected we'll wait because that's all we can do in such case market is trying really hard to break this level but i'm expecting a breakout soon okay the strength is missing market is trying but they are failing again and again well we should go yes that's a confirmation so i placed my trade now let me explain you why the confirmation was very strong market hit the support level it tried breaking it in the level again and again but it failed you can see this candle closes above and as soon as it hit the level i got a clear spike in the buying orders the strength was good and the confirmation was there the rejection was very strong and that's why i placed my trade now let's wait for the result and i'm sure that we are going to win this trade because it is going to hit this resistance level okay it it already did touch the level no worries you can see market is going up and it might be it, like this is the fifth trade i took in this video so we'll try to take one more trade in this video and then we're going to finish this video so let's wait right now it is ranging and it is at the resistance level and this is the range that i'm watching right now and uh, we cannot place any trade right now here because the story is not clear here the story was clear here i was expecting a breakout but market failed thrice here actually we can say or it we, we can say it, 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 it the fourth time it failed previously market was moving very strongly and this support level rejected the market the strong movement was restricted by this support level meaning it's a good support level the strength is quite good market goes up it again comes down again tried it failed 
these candlestick pattern shows a reversal this was also a reversal pattern but i didn't place my trade because i was not sure the second candlestick and the third candlestick shows shows me that yes the strength are in the favor of buyers so as soon as we get the rejection i place my trade so right now market is going up and this is the range market uh, will going to hit this level right now it is at this okay it is reversing from the zone now we will wait for the breakout in this case because we need clear breakout in such condition market is ranging you can see and if in this case market break this support level we can place a lower option but we have to wait right now the market is in between and when market is moving in between you will not place any trade with my strategy i don't know if you are using different with our strategy you always wait for the market to hit some level gives us rejection and when the story matches you place your trade right now market is going strongly down you can see it's a strong candle now if this candle closes below we can say that yes the sellers are now in control but if this candle goes down got rejected closes above the next candle closes above then we can say that yes the sellers are trying but this is where the buyers rule you can see market is getting like it is going in the downward direction okay great market got rejection from the support level and when you're trading over smaller time frame every level is important like smaller to smaller levels are important because we are trading over very smaller time frame so every whole number is important to you understand this fact right now market got rejected from this whole number and it closes above again so the sellers are trying but they are failing because this is where the buyers rule so in such case as you can see if this candle closes above like it is going up so it's a good thing but if this candle closes above and market rejected back from this support level we can place another trade because the buyers are ruling here okay market is going up again okay it's coming back again no worries we will stay with the story right now the story is not clear if this candle closes above it's a then we can say that this level is trustworthy still now because market got rejected from the same level but we should understand one thing that the whole level is important but if you look carefully here the most important level is actually here why because market got rejected from that very level very very instantly so we can put our money on this level this level is being tested quite a bit and we can say that yes it is working but the strength is present here on the current scenario right now as you can see market closes up now in such case the story is still not clear but if market goes down if we got rejection we can place our trade as we are trading over smaller time frame okay market is going down it is going strongly and i'm expecting that market is going to hit this level so let's wait how the market will react we never know market what market can do so in such case we'll always wait for me this level of support is strong because it is a whole number level and market got rejected recently from the same level okay it is going down same level same rejection we can trust this level it shows that we can trust this level until and unless there is a breakout we can trust this level now those who who think that i am going to place my trade as soon as market hit this level no it is not going to happen we need clear confirmation and the confirmation came in the form of rejection when market instantly rejected from a particular level this is we call rejection which we use as a confirmation so 
this is about the rejection now as you can see market again tried breaking the level it is again failing what can we expect we can expect this is a range here we can expect in a range market that market will reverse from the support level and the resistance level market closes above meaning one thing market is not able to break this support level it is going down okay now this level is not important okay market is at the same level we need confirmation and after that we can place our trade no it is going down okay it's a good thing because see those who think that we can also like fall in the trap of fake outs but uh, in such case you, you will not because you will not get any rejection by the levels so there are less chances of you falling in the trap of fake outs now market got rejected but still market didn't reject it from this level if market is not, re not rejecting from this support level you are not going to place your trade because this level is where we are were putting our trust right now market break this level what can you expect we can expect that market should go down if market is going up we can wait for the rejection and can place our trade story is simple the story says market should go down the breakout says market should go down if it is going up we can wait for the rejection from some good levels so let's wait and okay so it's a clear breakout you can see now i will remove them because okay it is market is trying yes now market closes as you can see market is below the previous support level it is now now we can say that it might work as a resistance in the future this is a strong candle it shows market should go down but if market started to go up we will wait for the rejection like it, it is going up so we'll wait for the rejection we need some retracement that is it so till now i don't see any retracement we need a clear retracement like market going till this level or this level so we need clear retracement and after the retracement we can place our trade in the lower option in the downward direction because the story and the resistance level suggest one thing that market should go in the downward direction so let's wait okay market is getting rejection but i don't see the strength okay now the strength is there but it will be like risky to place the trade here okay market formed a gravestone it's a dozy it's a sign of reversal okay whenever you see a sign of reversal now the story changes here it's a reversal pattern we should expect a reversal now if market goes up and if give us a rejection it's better not to take a trade because you might lose the trade i'm not saying that you will it might be the case that you lose the trade because now the story changes because of this gravestone dozy formation it's a sign of a reversal market can reverse anytime and it is you can see every like every level is working as a support here so in such case what we can do we'll wait for the market to hit some strong level of support as the story is telling us that market can reverse we will wait for the market to gives us some clear indication and right now you can see these two candlesticks shows one thing only that is reversal now if we get a confirmation we can place our trade we need clear rejection by the market okay it is going down okay nice no confirmation yet we need proper rejection no rejection yet okay market is going down but the story is quite clear market now will form an area so this is a support zone and market is at the support zone 
now let's wait if market closes above the level or not and if this closes above the level we can expect a reversal okay now this is a strong candle we cannot place a higher option here why the strong candle previously suggest market should go down this support zone suggests market should go up now let's wait for this candle to finish if this candle finishes as a confirmation that market should go up we will wait for the market to go down hit this support zone and gives us some rejection and with rejection we are going to place our trade otherwise we will wait that is the whole concept so let's wait okay you can see market is trying but the volume is missing okay it is going down now it is going strongly can we expect a reversal well of course not because candlestick story is not inclined with the support zone okay so this is the level that market previously respected so we can use the same level now it is breaking the level so we'll wait for the market to close this candle because if it is breaking this level it might go in the downward direction let's wait oh it is going strongly now it is going strongly we can expect one thing that market should go down and if both the breakout and the candlestick suggest that market should go down we can expect a lower option here but only when we get rejection you can see market closes below now if market started to go up and gives us confirmation as in the form of rejection we are going to place a lower option in this case so we will wait for the market to go in the upward direction right now story is clear and the levels are also suggesting same thing okay nice okay it is going up you can see market formed a bullish candlestick now bullish candlestick but market is still below the resistance level so we can expect a retracement and can uh, expect a reversal from this newly formed resistance level which was previously a support as this is a also a whole number so let's wait and uh, okay right now the story is not clear yet we'll wait for this candle to finish because this is a this is an important candle because we didn't have any range here the near support is here okay so you, you can see this is a sign market rejected from the same level okay it is going down i wanted to place my trade but i was busy explaining no worries the rejection was there and so the market is going down no worries we will catch another rejection because we can okay now it is going up and market got instant rejection from this level so it means this is a strong level whenever you see instant rejection you always like you can 
trust that level because it might work for you okay right now it is going up market is at the resistance level this is a strong resistance level so nope it is getting a rejection we'll wait for the market i think this candle will going to give us some profit yes so it's clear now that this level this whole number is working as a resistance and this is going to work for us so now let's wait this candle needs to finish fast okay the story is clear now okay market is at this support level got instant rejection from the same level okay i placed my trade now why i took this trade it was an you can see the previous candle got rejected from the same level the, the rejection was strong very strong and we got the same rejection from the same level my place i wanted to place my trade here but somehow it it's been placed here no worries let's wait if we lost uh, we lose this trade we are going to take one more trade i use this support level because it was working quite like it, it worked really great here and that's why i was trusting this level so let's wait for the result and okay it is going to be a winning trade in the next uh, three two one okay so it's a winning trade now so why i take this trade this is the range market rejected from this level i was trusting this level because it was a strong level i was expecting a retracement a rejection quite strongly from this level and we got the same i got strong rejection from this level and that's why i placed my trade and one more thing was there in my mind because market was strongly moving in the downward direction as i have explained in my 5 minute trading videos that whenever you see unhealthy price action you can expect a retracement or you can see you can expect a reversal in this case market was weak if i remove this you will see that market got rejected from this support level it was holding the market and we can expect a retracement here i didn't place a 5 minute trade but the setup was like the same the story was simple and the psychology behind that trade was the same because market got rejected from that level very strongly i was expecting the same and as we are trading over 1 minute a 30 second or a 50 second like 50 seconds on an average retracement will work for us because we are trading over small time frame and we apply the strategy here and it 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 is it turns out to be a winning trade so i hope that you have learned something out of this video because you guys were asking me for one minute trading videos and that's why i have to place some trade uh, i guess i have uh, taken six trade in this video so if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video if you have any suggestion for the next videos let me know in the comment section till then keep trading keep working hard we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching good day